Hey everyone. I know I do a lot of tutorials that have to do with actual photographs and I thought this time I would do something design related that some of you can can use. Um, you know, I download these templates from Miller's and, and they're great and sometimes I want to, well especially for what I sell for two pair, I want to be able to show you what it looks like cut, um, especially these die cut ones. They're of the Luxe, Scallops, that kind of thing. Um, and so when you get it, you get a background layer and you get the guide layer. And it's really kind of hard to show a client or even on us for our previews how this looks. So here's what I do. And um, you can do this too as, you, if, as you'd like. Um, the first thing I do is take my select tool, um, which is just this little wand here. And on the layer that's the guide layer, I just select in the gray. Now, it's going to select these things out here as well as inside, but that's okay. Um, I'm not too worried about that right now. I might actually select right here too, um, just to include it. And then I create a new layer, and what I do is I do an edit, fill, and I go 50% gray, and um, let that select um, everything on the outside. Um, actually, you know what, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm going to, while this is all selected, I'm gonna go to select, inverse, and then I'm gonna say a new layer, and then I'll do edit, fill, 50% gray, and let it fill everything in. And what I do now is, it's just something I've learned, um, because I need to go in and erase these pieces here, um, I'll rename this. What I do is I create a stroke, so I just double click the layer, come down to stroke, and make sure um, a color is selected, like this one is red. And already I can see down here there's something on this file that needs to come off. So I can now take my eraser tool and start erasing things. But the stroke helps me see stray marks that I didn't know were there. Now obviously up here where it says optional hole, it's kind of easy to come out here and just take your eraser tool um, and get that, you know, go real small and just make sure you get every little fleck of color there. But it doesn't make it easy for where you have the scallop line and especially right here. So here's my trick. I duplicate my layer and I go ahead and um, go to Edit, Transform, Rotate. And then I just rotate the image until I match up the scallops. Um, and if, if you're having problems with that, you know, you could go ahead and change the color or take off the stroke. Um, sometimes a color overlay that's a different color will help you visualize and see that a little bit better. Um, I do edit, transform, let's go back and rotate a little bit more, um, just until I kind of get into where I need to in that area right there. And I may need to shift it because sometimes they're not um, perfect um, as far as their shape goes. So now what I can do to get rid of this arrow here is we have my layer I just duplicated and rotated. We have the original one that we want to keep. So on the one on top that we just duplicated, I hold down my command key, might be control option for PC users, and select it so that I select just that outline. Now I'm going to do select inverse, and then and then I'm, while that's selected there, I'm going to click on the layer that, that I'm working on. So now when I use my eraser tool, it's not going to take it away from my, um, in, in the inside. I can go over and see it's not erasing. It's only what's selected on the outside. So I can now come in, get a nice clean line there, um, and hide my other layer. And you'll see now I kind of got rid of that. Um, same thing with over here. I can select on, on my duplicated layer and do an inverse selection and use my eraser tool on my original one just to get rid of it. And you fit on screen. Now, I have a perfectly um, um, good scallop to work with that I can clip my final card layout on to show people what it will look like. Um, and sometimes I even do another one where I, I'll select it and do a new layer and do inverse and fill it with gray so that I get similar to what um, you know this looks like, but instead of having all the words, it's just blank so I can kind of see where my guidelines are. Anyway, I do that and then I save that file so then I have it always to work with. Um, so maybe that's going to help you out, maybe not, um, but I just wanted to share that little uh, trick with you guys. Thanks.